What is up, Mean Green Nation and fans? This is Sonoy with the Mean Green Show. This is my lovely co-host here, Oscar Alvarez. Thanks for having me. <laughs> hey, man, you're welcome. It's an honor. Yeah, I know it is. Wow. Like, yeah. This is great. Yeah. Um, you, you've made it. I'm very proud of you. Why is this special? Yeah, that's true. Um, no, but seriously, guys, I hope you got, everybody had a happy new year and a safe holiday season. Um, you know, let's talk about why we're here. You know, we're a firm believer in there's two seasons. There's college football season, and then there's a recruiting season. And Coming out of the wire one more month. Yeah, February 3rd. Um, yeah, that is a month. Yeah. Yeah, well. UNT, seven spots left. So is seven it, guys. okay, I believe it's seven. Okay. Right. I mean, don't quote me, but I think we have seven spots left. Yeah. Um, you well, know, I mean, I think, you know. As far as uh, who we already have signed and, and ready to go, like, I think we've got one of the, you know, best classes we've ever had. Obviously, we have the best recruit not only in our school history, but the current best recruit in the whole conference as far as, like, the 21 class. That's crazy. That is, is that is crazy. Breaking records. I, that is insane. <laughs> How cool is that, though? That is cool. Dude, that is cool. He that can is, say that. He's like, I'm the he, highest recruit. In the conference. In the conference. Yeah. He's the first. Mm -hmm. So Definitely. Not. I mean, not to mention, like, we have a long list of guys like, yeah, he, he may be the number one, you know, in Caleb Johnson, but we have, a, I mean, we're not going to go into that now, but we have a long list of dudes and, yeah. um, you know, so anyway, but long list of dudes, who, what dudes do you not have? What positions do you think? Yeah. Where do we need, where do we need to go before yeah. February 3rd? You know, personally, and I don't know if you and I share this belief, but you know, I mean, it is, I'm not saying one of them won't transpire, but we haven't really established the quarterback position. I mean, we just, they didn't only have, the most important position in, in all maybe, sports. All yeah, sports. Uh, the quarterback. Yeah, hardest damn position. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that was the hardest day of practice of my life when I had a yeah yeah when I was sick and you had to play quarterback. Yeah, in practice. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyways, yeah. I still have eligibility left. But yes. um, no, but I want to see. You know, we have seven, and I know we already have six under scholarship, and that's a lot. And you know, we could. We got six string, but I think we need to go after one more QB. Wait, wait, wait. We have six quarterbacks, and you think we should have one more? Yes, seven we have six scholars. Guys on Why scholarship. not? Why not seven? Why yeah. not seven? Okay. Hey, all right. yeah. <laughs> with COVID going on, we might need all of them. All right? Very true. Um, but my thing is, like, we don't have the guy. We have six, but we don't have the guy. I'm not saying it's he's not on the roster Per se, maybe Bean, maybe Ani, somebody like has a really big offseason they, and they are the guy. I'm not saying it, it's not. Or it's Amani or Bryce or Will Kuhin or whoever it might be. But we don't know that we have one. And I'll tell you what we do have. We got Caleb Johnson, the best wide receiver in the conference, in the signing class, yeah. of, signing class of 21. Do we not want to have, why would we not want to just do everything we could to cap off like a good quarterback. Yeah. Like there's there's so many in like you know, Chad Morris, I mean he just went to TCU today. I was, you know, and I can't believe it. No, that. no joke. And this is no joke. I don't know if I don't think you knew this, but his sister is um one of our recruiting analysis or something at UNT. No, yeah, no right. joke. Yeah. So I was really kind of come on, you know, let's get the Morris family over here, let's get the OC over here, dad. Let's have them build a little Morris dynasty. At UNT. I will say right now with what has happened at Auburn and Arkansas with Chad Morris, the most appealing thing about that guy is his son. Yeah. And that's his son yeah. is a stud. Yeah. Playmaker. Yeah. You know. I mean, look, he, his son is going to be like, I, I believe if he would have came to UNT, that would have been a great fit. You know. He would have been a DFW legend. Yeah. But who am I? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But obviously we don't know the logistics of it. And, um. But, like, you know, I know the Lincoln Rileys of the world, they tell, you know, the blue chip guys, like Spencer Rattler, Caleb Williams, like, hey, I'm going to go after you. I'm not going after nobody but you. Like, you're going to be the quarterback of this class. Right. So, do you think UNT is telling the players that? I don't know. I have no idea. But if, even if, you know, if you're not, like, why would we not go after one more? Like, we just, if we were to have, I feel like we're a quarterback away right. from being you know, at least a six win win team, a quarterback away. I really believe that. Yeah. Um, and not to me, I mean, I know we need help on defense and, and all that stuff. And 
you know, I'm hoping that. But think about the year that Jalen Darden just had. Yep. All American. With an inconsistent QB play. Two different QBs. Yes. He doesn't <clears throat> know what drive on which game what guy's gonna throw the ball. No, he doesn't because it changes. Exactly. He doesn't know. Like there's no clue. And he just made it happen. Yeah. And we you know, we we've got other receivers too. I mean, we've got you don't want to waste those. Deontay Simpson. We have yeah. the, the Travion Brown. We had um, we got Jair Short. I mean, we have receivers. We have an offensive line. Okay, we have running back. We have like we have running backs. Sorry, right. we have like we have those things. Like if we just get a QB in there who can play well, like I think we go to six six yeah. wins with that alone. I do believe that. It takes you and to the yes. next why, tier. Why do we want to? Miss? Yes, exactly. So anyway, I can, you know, get kind of ranty. Like I'm hoping to see with these seven scholarships left that we do go after one more QB, preferably in the portal. There's just yeah. so many. There's there's really an embarrassment of riches right now at the QB position in the portal, and I just feel like we're seeing a few of them fly by. But hopefully, they get a quarterback, and we can have seven. To add to that, I will say quarterback probably is the hardest position A to play and position B or B to find. So with a limited amount of quarterback time out there, you maybe want to throw as many, you know, flies against the wall mm -hmm. and see which one sticks because you might hit on that seventh guy. Right. That seventh guy might be the next Mason Fine. Mm -hmm. And Mason Fine is what would take UNT to a higher level and make a Jalen Darden exceed even his level, maybe possibly. 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 You know, and it's just like, it's so important. Why wouldn't you go for one more guy? I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. I want him to. Like, yeah. I want him to. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe but they I'm are. I'm sure we love our listeners and viewers. Um, all 10 of them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure they're like, why? These guys all are smoking <laughs> crack. Like, what were y'all doing? Yeah. A seventh quarterback on campus when that could have been a valuable DT. DN linebacker. Hey, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I, and, and, it's a lottery ticket. And I know, I know we need defensive help. You know what I mean? I know we do. But, you know, we ran the infamous 3 3 5 last year, and we have talented dudes like in these past 19 and 20 class who are on yeah. the defense. And yeah. if we get the right DC, um, you know, who takes us out of the 3 3 5, God willing, maybe we get a forefront. A lot of the players are calling for the for the forefront. I don't know if you saw that on Twitter today or not, but they, yeah, a lot of them are calling for the forefront. So forefront them, forefront them. Get uh, please, yeah, get, get rid of that three like, three. Forefront them. Crap. Nice. Four three or four two five, whatever you want to do. Forefront them, and let's go get one more QB in the portal, and let's go. If you want to go the rest six defense, I'm fine with that. Go get one more QB, and then the rest I'm fine with. Yeah, if you look at the numbers that UNT had this past season, yeah. the defense, yeah. it's pretty atrocious. Yeah, for sure. And just like quarterback, I, w I wouldn't mind throwing all those, you know, those six picks. That's something that you yeah. desperately need and that would desperately take this team <clears throat> to that next level. Yeah. Because, yeah, UNT didn't have just, you know, the greatest season last year, and a lot of it can be, you know, due to the quarterback situation, but a lot of it was also the defense just – not giving the offensive break at all. And what would make a quarterback's life a little bit easier? <clears throat> well, that's if the defense doesn't know that he needs to throw every pass because your defense is letting a touchdown go by every drive. Yeah. It would make yep. <laughs> every everything yeah. better. Defense wins championships. Yeah. Yep. You know, quarterback, defense. Yep. Yep. So, you need hopefully, that. I mean, <clears throat> Mean Green fans, let us know what you think. Do you know, do you think we should go after another quarterback? I know there's a lot of people out there who don't think we do. Yeah. And, you know, they do have the reason for thinking that, um, you know, whether it be the, the six QB situation or they believe someone on that roster is, is the, the guy. guy. Is the guy. And maybe they are. I'm not saying they're not. I'm not saying you'll get a transfer QB and that guy right. automatically starts. But why not go after Chad Morris? Why not go after, like, aggressively um, – a Tanner Mortar, I mean, like, I mean, go after those guys, and if they don't work out, go after them. There's just so many QBs out there. One of them might be a huge UNT fan, yeah. and we don't even know because maybe or the coaching staff doesn't even, feel like they need to go after this guy because they probably don't have a chance. And yeah, and obviously, you know, we talk about the Tanner Mortar guys, we talk about the Chandler, the, the Chandler Morses, and uh, all the bigger name guys, but even not, even not even like the bigger name guys, John Copeland coming out of Incarnate Word, okay? Right. He did. It's very well there. 
Very well. Okay, he's a competent QB coming up from the FCS. Go after him. Okay, let's just see what, uh, let's just get one more in there. Okay, let's have seven. If nothing else, maybe they help the film room. Maybe they they elevate your quarterback room. Yeah, the competition okay. will be even that yeah. much more heightened. Like, oh, damn. I'm not just here competing with one or two other guys. I didn't get recruited here yeah. as the guy. Yeah. I have to yeah. compete with all these freaking guys. Yeah. Pulling everyone out at QB. And what is that going to do? That's probably going to elevate a guy to reach their next level. And yeah. maybe, you know. And again, you getting a quarterback in the portal does not portal. mean yeah. that the guy next season is not already currently on the roster. That's right. not what we're saying. But if he is, show yourself. Exactly. Come on. We're ready. We're ready. As, as a fan said, we are ready. Right. But, all right, guys, let us know what you think. Where would you like to see the, less, the last seven Scollies go? Um, let us know. Thanks for watching. Go green. Go mean green. <laughs>